How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week is gonna be insane. Me and the homie Andy are gonna be collaborating on a full back piece and we're gonna complete it in the next two days. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. All right, so right. I'm just gonna go. explain that this is something that we seen and we instantly knew it was it. So maybe start on the top, obviously. Do you want like want this arm to be darker than the background still? Yeah. Yeah, so no, I, I think let, that would be a good this, idea. Let this like breathe, just glow. So mm -hmm. just bring a shadow. Just let it start to glow. Really. Exactly. Because I was also thinking like putting just solid black against this and you can do with your style, this is going to stand out apart from my black. I, I, I would want to do solid black behind that spine and then fade it out to gray right here. Because this right here is going to look like light black light, you know, and rather than being like super dark to light and make it look like it's glowing from outside. In. If I did with my style on this light drapery. What the fuck? Is what is that? Oh, I see it. Is it a fly? Hold on. Don't move. Don't move. I'm going to catch it. I'm a fucking ninja, bro. Hold on. What's on your shirt? Is it my shirt? My, can I? Wait. Did it fly? Oh, bro, do not move. Do not move, bro. I got it. I got it. Don't, don't you worry. Hold on. Did I catch it? <laughs> That's the question. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, that's you, bro. Yeah. That's definitely kind of the way I see it. Like, if it's on the lighter side, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, fucking, that's mm -hmm. kind of my focus. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I'm thinking that when we can, this whole thing, what do you think today? Yeah. I if, think we so could. I think if you cut here, it'd be easy to put this spine back in. Mm -hmm. So if you do this shape, mm -hmm. cool breaking point right here. Mm -hmm. And then if you have to, you can go this way. Yeah, I was even thinking leaving the whole stencil on. Or if we get, yeah, yeah. if we can. I, if, I feel like if, if, we, if we, we have to, I just gonna get ready to re-stencil if we have to. Okay. So we, yeah. If we have to. If we have if to. We cut okay. This bright one off mm -hmm. all the way up like this. Oh, that's good. There you go. Oh, oh one more. One more. Oh. Okay, check it out. Oh, perfect. Okay. We're good. Can you check it out? Let's see. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Yes, sir. Go ahead and have a seat right here. We're going to shave your back. There, too. Oh yeah, this is not going to be a bad setup. Thank God. Yeah, that looks... Bro, dude, it's not... Sometimes it's like the tattoo itself. It's the, not bad. It's, it's sitting, bro. Yeah. Okay. Especially when he stretches out, it gets super wide. Damn, bro, you got like wings on your back. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm in the movie. I feel like I'm in the fucking movie setup. Fucking microphones. Where's the script? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's perfect. I would just probably maybe tape like, right. like on each on the side, huh? Yeah. Let me see. All right, cool. That, look, that looks pretty saucy right there. It does. Okay. Have that. That looks fucking crazy. That looks insane. So I'll say, uh, let's not worry about the top. We'll like. Stencil all of this, and then and we'll then, take the top and then to the top. Yeah. Wrong, yeah. Yes, sir. I'm gonna start hitting the center. Okay. <laughs> Everything good so far? Everything good. Mostly you're in. <laughs> like, yeah, wow. they glued, glued his back. <laughs> and Dude, just the line work on the Just the line insane. work is already crazy. <laughs> it's like fucking full tattoo already. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Oh, let's go, son. I want to see Let's go. We've <laughs> been saving that one up all week. <laughs> Bro, it looks fucking insane. I want to fucking break dance right now. <laughs> I want to break dance. Like so we just finished putting on the stencil, and uh, we do have a game plan on how to approach this huge project. The first thing I'm going to be doing is attacking the skull with all the contrast. Uh, 
behind it and a little bit of the background on this area. Yeah, and I'll be hitting the right shoulder. We're gonna be coming across the top, uh, transitioning until I run into Kevin and then probably do a switcheroo. Yeah, once we switch, yeah. I'm gonna be attacking the background on this area and start shading in uh, wherever I need to because he's gonna be doing the architecture, uh, the details on the, in the architecture, and I'm gonna be doing the background of that. I'll so. be building most of my details and like all the structure using a three super tight. Uh, and I'm probably gonna be using an 11 curve mag uh, with a 14 round liner, running at a 5.0. What about your voltage? Your four, voltage? Four and a half. Four and a half. All right. Oh. I just completed what I was supposed to do on my side and he's done doing what he had to do on his side. So now we're gonna switch and he's gonna start doing the cloak, he's gonna start doing the, the frame here of the architecture and I'm gonna start doing the background here, shoulder area. How you feeling bro? Hey man, hanging, hanging in there, you know? <laughs> you're, you're freaking blasting my back. <laughs> I tattoo harder than Andy, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what about you? How you feeling, Andy? I'm feeling good. Yeah? It's gonna be insane. Yeah. You guys are working pretty good together. Communication is there. Oh hell yeah. You know, um, good teamwork over here. Good teamwork. Uh, good canvas. <laughs> Most importantly. All right, let's. Go. So we're gonna go eat. We're gonna come back. We need that energy. We need that protein. Yeah, the reason why I use a three-round liner prim primarily would be uh, for precision and just something I've been comfortable with. Actually, took a lot of time to to get good with it when I came from primarily using mags. But I don't know. I just got something different out of it, and the, the look that it gave me was just was just different. So using the three-round liner definitely uh, patience was. Just slowing everything down so that you could inevitably be inevitably That's a word. <laughs> uh, become faster with it, you know, pacing myself to take a step back, do things more precise, and slowing the voltage down. Slowing the voltage down definitely gives me more control over where the needle goes and you know, less irritation to the skin. Using higher voltage probably be more for line work, uh, getting smoother tones or blends, but it is gonna really irritate the skin, cause a lot of redness, and uh, it kind of tends to skate. Like, the needle will kind of glide versus be more grippy. When you're running at a lower voltage, it tends to stick and give you a lot of control in where you're hitting.
That's it. I'm gonna call it. Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> we went at it for probably 10 hours today. Yeah. Close. Yeah, about 10 hours. <clears throat> I'm going to get this done. Okay. The veil or the cloak? The dark part of the veil. And oh, then no. get that light one pop out, wrap around this way. Mm -hmm. And then I think the rest of this is mostly you. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. How you feeling, bro? You ready? Day two! Let's go, man. Come on. Oh. Okay. All right, let's do it. I guess one tip that I have from, for everybody that's looking to collaborate with someone else is, is personally me, what I look for is um, how different is their style? Because you want a piece to look unique. And if you're collaborating, and this is my personal opinion, if you're collaborating with someone that does exactly what you do, the whole piece is gonna look like you did it, you know? And it's not gonna have any specific uh, feature points of the piece, you know? In this case, uh, with his style, is completely the opposite of what I do, you know? So that opens up a whole different possibility of things that we can do with projects like this. How different can we, can we make a piece look like and make it look unique, you know? Spot on, two different superpowers. Mm -hmm. We still stay true to our styles. Exactly, yeah. yes. We don't have to compromise yeah. to satisfy no. and you know, each works. other. And it works, we just, it just... Almost works too well, honestly. I don't know much about uh, Dragon Ball Z, but... Oh, so, uh, Super Saiyan. Is that what it is? Right? That's what they... Right? Oh, no, I feel like... I... That's a fusion. Nine hours today? Holy shit. Nine I thought hours. it was a light day. Yeah, sounds about right. A rough so, thing. Yeah, about 20 hours. Sorry, my guy. Just real quick. How does that feel? Am I good to go? 40. Okay. After tattooing two days back to back on the same client and, you know, having to uh, move around throughout both days, I feel like the most important thing I, I learned was that Communication is key because sometimes, you know, we didn't want to get in each other's way, but also we had to get things done, you know, at a certain rhythm. So I think the way we were moving around was really smooth. It was, it was tight. These guys were talking about communication, which they did a good fine job at. You know, they rotated wherever each one needed to be. But they didn't care about my fucking feelings. They just <laughs> oh my <God>. fucking <laughs> ran my back. Blasting my shit. Every time I got up, we looked at it and it was like, damn, these guys are moving. Then you guys got to do a couple push-ups. <laughs> we had to stretch. We found out Kerry can walk on his feet and his hands. <laughs> 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 to everyone that's thinking about getting a full back tattoo, uh, what would you tell them? Um, <laughs> shit, man. You, you, you gotta understand that you have to come in mentally fucking prepared. For, it takes a warrior for sure. Mm -hmm. For for this kind of piece because there's gonna be breaking points when you want to quit, you know. Yeah. Especially if you're going back to back sessions. Mm -hmm. um, if you know your like your pain tolerance is very little from getting a tattoo in your forearm or your bicep, if you know like you needed multiple breaks, 
you definitely have to, I would say, they need to split their sessions for, for a back piece. Mm. You sat great, though. To be honest, it wasn't even, you didn't seem hurt enough where I would have made you go home. Yeah. <clears throat> There's some times where I think it's better to reset and live to fight another day. Exactly. For both of us. And I didn't see you even get to that point no. yet. Not even close getting to that point. Uh, no one likes to see anybody uncomfortable. Yeah. Home. So that's it for this crazy episode. Uh, we went at it for 20 hours, full back piece, two artists, one client, and drop a comment because this deserves a whole bunch of love because he made it through. And you know, not a lot of people can say that. <laughs>